Hi everyone, welcome. Today we are gonna do this really cool transfer. It is actually called A Wee Bit Wicked. We're gonna do some pieces of it. We're gonna do the frame and we're gonna do the witch inside the frame and then we're gonna do, there's a little witch in all of us and we're gonna do it on a board and base and we're actually gonna do the board and base this way, which is landscape. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the frame over here with the witch and then the words over here. So let me really quickly send this over to my VIP group. If you are not a chalk chore designer and you would love to be in the VIP group, please comment VIP below. And I will get you over there. Today is the 14th. Yes, we just had a launch today, actually. Um, our holiday collection has come out. If you are a club member, you also get a, you will get an email where you can save 15% on an order. So that's super, super cool. I will put the link on how to join club in the comments of this or in the description of this video. And I will also add all of the things that we're going to use here today. Now there is a, um, simple shapes, um, chalkable shapes, that go with this transfer as well, as I'm pretty sure there's a digital file with this as well. So there's other things that you can buy to make it unique. We are gonna use the color of the month. This is the color of the month. It is in low stock. It will be sold out probably by the end of today if it isn't already. Um, it wasn't just a few minutes ago when I checked. Um, this is called Superstitious. It is absolutely beautiful. It is a gorgeous purplish pink color. And we're going to do that and black velvet. Of course, I've stirred these up. They're ready to go. And I'm going to move you guys down. So if you have any questions, of course, leave them in the comments below. If you are um, if you are watching this live, you'll see the live rectangle up in the corner. If you are watching this on a replay, just go ahead and put hashtag replay so I need, know you've seen it. As always, you want to keep your packaging in your back sheet because this is reusable. 8 to 12 times, sometimes more. And it tells you your care instructions on the back. We are going to use our transfer trimmers to cut the transfers. These are called transfer stencils now. So it's going to take me a little bit get, to get used to that, guys. I'm just, just warning you. Because we always called them transfers. Now they're transfer stencils. So we are going to do this cute witch right here. She's going to go right into the middle of that frame. We'll do the frame in Superstitious. We'll do the witch in black. Or we can do both. We'll, we'll have to see. And then we're going to do that. There's a little witch in all of us. We also have a warlock on here. There's a skull, a raven, um, a hat, spider web, which would be super cool over in the corner. So many things that you can do. And you can also chalk on the base of the board base, which is even better, right? So we're going to put this over here, keep it all together. And I always write on the back of my backer sheets because these older ones, um, and they're not that old, um, don't are not different color. So I just want to make sure I'm getting the uses out of them and I know how they go back on. Um, and I always do top and a dash mark. So I know how they're going to go on and how many uses I'm getting out of them. Chalk says eight to 12 uses. So just an FYI. All right, so we're gonna do the frame first. We're gonna do it just like this. I'm gonna try and put it far enough up that the, that the um, base won't mess with it or block any of it. So we need to fuzz it because we are using paste. The more silk screen you have, the more or less fuzzing you'll need to do. So we're gonna move this off to the side. All right, let's see. I'm gonna put the base on here and see. Yeah, it's not gonna mess with that. So we're gonna do this in black velvet and 
We'll see if we're going to do the witch in black velvet as well. Or if we're going to just do her in superstitious. I know I'm going to use superstitious for the words. Um, this is a gorgeous color. And of course, our color of the month is limited time. And it's exclusive for that month only. So if you don't have it yet, you're going to want to grab it. I will add it to the cart, so if it is still available, it will be added to the cart, and you can just obviously take it off if you don't want it. Making sure we're covering everything here. All right, pulling all that extra up. Let me grab a pastry here. Oh, I love that frame. Super cool. It's got a lot of detail to it. So let me quickly dry this. I love this little bat down here at the bottom. Super cool. So when you're drying, it will go from a glossy finish to a matte finish or a chalky finish. That's how you know that it is dry. If you're going to layer, you always want to make sure that one, you, your bottom layer is completely dry. Or you will also want to... Um, Maybe wax in between just to keep it from peeling back up. Normally, you don't wax a surface like this, but you can. You absolutely can. All right. Of course, I want to make that get back to room temp because you don't want to put this transfer on there. This transfer on there with it being hot. You always want to make sure that that goes back to room temp. So let's get our witch. I think she would look pretty cool in the black velvet myself. I'll just try and get her like centered a little bit. No, nope, no, nope, her hat. We don't want that to go off. There we go. Okay. I'm just going to push down where I'm going to chalk. And we're going to do her in black velvet as well. I just think that she'd be super cool looking in black velvet. And then we'll do the words in superstitious. Now superstitious only comes, like color of the month only comes in paste jars. It does not come in singles. However, this does come in a single, the black velvet. So I'll probably put it as a single in the cart. You will have to order so much, though, to get, um, to unlock the option to buy Superstitious. Just an FYI. Oh, she's cool. I love that. That's pretty awesome looking. Dry her up. It'd be cool to go over it, maybe with glow in the dark as well, if you really wanted to. I like it the way it is. do the words over here we'll probably put it there that looks better to me of course that's you know it's your own personal preference make it unique to you or whoever you're making it for um, you always want to give your own personal touch to it and pick the colors that you like if you don't like these colors then obviously go with something that you would like if you don't like the surface you can always pick a different surface as well so we're gonna put just want to make sure it's not coming off of the, and it's not, so that's good. And then we're going to do that beautiful superstitious color. I love it. Honestly, guys, the video does not do it justice. I can tell you that right now. The color is just amazing. And our paste jars last a long time, especially if you keep them in a, you know, obviously sealed container like this, making sure that it's closed airtight. You want to stir it up every once in a while, just an FYI. That is super cool. All right, 
I'm gonna put it back in its base. And there is our project for today. I'm gonna move this up real quick. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for all of your support. If you would be so kind as to click that S-H-A-R-E button if you are not a chalk couture designer and spread the love for me. And as always, I am super happy to be live with everyone and thank you for all of your support. I will not be live tomorrow and I will not be live on Monday. I have to make a trip out of state, but I will have videos posting and as, and as always, you can contact me and um, if you have any questions or comments. Thanks guys so much. Talk to you later. Bye.